Hello, today's question is over the pH at the equivalence point of a strong acid and a weak base titration. Since the titration involves a weak base and strong acid, we predict the pH to be less than 7. The equivalence point in a titration is the point where the moles of acid and base are equal. So in order to calculate the moles of the weak base, we will use the definition of molarity. Molarity equals moles divided by volume. That would be 20 milliliters times 0.1 molar equals 2 millimoles. Since we need the pH at the equivalence point, we know that the moles of weak base will be equal to the moles of the acid. In order to find the volume of the acid during the titration, we solve for the milliliters by using the formula for molarity. The molarity of the acid given is 0.15 molar. And we calculated the millimoles to be 2. Hence, the volume calculates out to be 13.33. In this equation, B represents the weak base of ammonia and the hydronium ion represents the nitric acid. HB plus represents the conjugate acid for the weak base. Since we are using a strong acid, it is a one-way arrow, and hence we will use moles and not molarity. We use the BCA table, which stands for before, change, and after. So before any of it has reacted, there are two millimoles of the weak base and two millimoles for the strong acid. But because nothing has reacted yet, there will be zero for the conjugate acid. In the change line, because it is a stoichiometric problem, it is a limiting reagent problem, and since they are both equal, we will subtract two millimoles from both. And on the product side, we will add two millimoles. So the after line will be zero, zero, and two. Now that we have all the millimoles we need to find the molarity of the weak acid, and to do that, we use the definition of molarity again. So we have two millimoles over 20 plus 13.33 milliliters, which is going to equal 0 0.06 molar. We're going, we're going to use the molarity of the conjugate acid that we just calculated, and since it's a weak base reacting with water, we're going to use the equilibrium problem and use the ICE table, which means initial change in equilibrium. It's going to be 0 0.06 molarity for the weak acid and zero for the conjugate base and approximately zero for the hydronium ion concentration since it really is 10 to the negative seven, which is a very small number. The change line is going to be minus x, and on the product side, it'll be plus x plus x. Carry it down and it'll be 0 0.06 minus x, and this side will be x and x. Since we use the weak acid for the equilibrium calculations, we need to calculate the Ka value, which we can do by using Ka times Kb equals Kw, and rearrange to solve for Ka, which would be 1 times 10 to the negative 14, and using the Ka, I mean the Kb given at the beginning of the problem, which was 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Ka would then be calculated out to be 5.556 times 10 to the negative 10. And because Ka is such a small number, we can approximate that uh, 0.06 minus x is going to be roughly 0 0.06. Ka is also the concentration of equals the concentration of the products divided by the reactants. Thus, it will be equal to x squared divided by 0 
and hence we can calculate out x to be equal to 5.77 times 10 to the negative 6, which is also equal to the hydronium ion concentration. And using this, we can find the pH with the formula pH equals the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So thus, the pH will equal out to be p 5.24, which as we predicted is less than 7. Thank you for watching.